Today we're going on an adventure, an adventure that uh, I have, I don't think I've ever gone on in Minecraft, ever, ever in my life. So this ought to be interesting, but before we can get this adventure started off, we have to go to the Tobotum Town to do some shopping. All right, let's see here. There are some changes that have happened around this area. Since the last time we were here, Scar has made some wonderful, beautiful things. And let's see, has Pearl used... Are the llamas... Last episode, we delivered some beautiful llamas. They're not here. Are they? Oh, there they are. Okay. They better not be breeding those. But anyway, we are looking for... A mumbo a jumbo a shop And I think this... Is this it? This looks right. Oh, and wonderful hitching posts as well. Perfect. Okay. Harmless harvest. What a wonderful... Ah, oh, this is what I'm here for. Blaze rod. That's not blaze rod because that's the wrong chest. Okay. So we look at this and it says one diamond for eight. What a rip off. How much for these? How, one diamond for one? Maybe, maybe I'll get one. Aha. Okay, there it is. I have no diamonds. <laughs> Do I have no diamonds for real? Oh no! This is one of the great benefits of having the passing gas right here. Because, uh, well, I mean, not right here. There, it, there is one right by Bodum, but there's one. They're all over the place. So we can always, uh oh, okay. We can always pop in and collect diamonds every once in a while. Please, XP machine, please. Yes, okay, there's at least one. And, oh, that's it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can get eight blaze rods, which actually, that's all I need. Well, there's Mumbo right there looking as majestic as you possibly could. Oh, my goodness. Look at him on top of the tree up there. I believe he's AFK at the moment. But, boy, what a view he's got, huh? Okay. One diamond. I mean, sorry, Mumbo. I would have bought more if I could. But uh, this is this is apparently all I can scrape together at the moment. One diamond for eight. Okay, so we'll take eight. Boom. There's one, and we're good to go. We're going to use these because we have to do a little bit of brewing. As you can see, or probably noticed, give me that. Thank you. I have a fishing pole in my inventory. That fishing pole was for puffer fish. I got puffer fish because... I always, it's one of those things I never like to have, but I got pufferfish for water breathing potions. Water breathing potions of eight minutes. Wonderful. Okay. Oh, and look at, tell everybody here what a wonderful guy I am with the local brewery. So eight minutes, that's three of them. That's 24 minutes. I'm going to want to make some more of those. Why do I need water breathing potions? I need them to go underwater. Last but not least, we need an aqua affinity respiration three Leather diving cap. Well, actually not last. And not not least either. Uh, cause we need depth strider on our boots. We're gonna be have the best diving session ever. Breathing underwater, walking easy, having the best time. I just gotta get the depth strider on the boots and I'm ready to rock. Now we are now. Now 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 now. We are at the southern most tip of the continent of the big island we're playing on, and is really developing out here. Look at all this. Bridges all over. We've got roads with signs to Cleo and Joe and Hypno and XB. They kind of claim the lower island just off the uh, base of the, the continent. Why are we down here? And why do we get all this water stuff? Because we're going underwater and over this way. Hopefully this is safe. There's no path here. Uh, but over this way is... I think the closest warm ocean. Oh, that's scary. Be careful, Lulu. The closest warm ocean. Aha, and there it is, right over there. We're going to leave Lulu right here. I always, of course, carry some fence for my horse. Come here, Lulu, stupid. There you go. And get the boat out, and we're going sailing. Far, far away from the dock. So, this is the start. 
Now, I'm not going to tear up this entire coral natural situation. Boy, is it beautiful. I don't want to destroy this in its entirety. Now, this is a small patch. There's also, I think, if I'm not mistaken, let me go take a look. Let's sail just a little bit. Aha, yes, over here's a much bigger one. A huge coral reef over there. So, we'll start here. And I'm not going to take everything. But I will be taking brain, brain coral. We're going to drink the water breather. And I took water in there. And down we go. Now we're breathing water. And I've got aqua affinity, depth strider, so I can walk around normal. I can mine fast. I have respiration. I'm doing fantastic. I prepared just as Etho would. If you will notice. Aha, you know what Etho would also do? He'd have a torch in his hand at some time. So this is what my uh, moments are going to be like. Right here. Is I'm just going to be collecting all of this coral. And I guess just let it float to the top and then swim and get it. So, I, I brought two shulker boxes with me. If I'm lucky, I fill two shulker boxes with brain coral. Let's see how we do. I'm down to my last water breathing potion. And this hasn't been nearly as, a, as effective, efficient. I mean, this is the way to do it, surely. We're doing it the right way, I think. Uh, I don't think... <laughs> I really don't think there's any crafting recipes for coral. I don't think so. But anyway, we are not getting nearly as much brain coral as I thought we were going to get. I thought we were going to get a lot, lot more. But I can show you exactly how much we got in just a second. Oh, the wonderful mayor scar is on. Not the mayor right now, you know. Well, we're going to get about a shulker. A shulker box full. So that's good. Uh, and that'll get us started. I just wish this stuff was easier to collect. Why? It's a weird looking block. Why in the world, B-dubs, would you want all this brain coral? I will show you shortly. But before we do that, let's take a quick commercial break. I think I'll be in charge of the remote tonight. I like being in control. That's why I use Dashlane to make sure my phone, computer, and other devices are all protected and secure. Dashlane stores all my passwords, payments, and personal information in a secure place only I can access. And it autofills that data for me on every site in just one click. Oh, she just put too much pepper in. If I was as in control of this meal as I am with all my devices thanks to Dashlane, I might be having a decent meal tonight. Dashlane is powered by patented security technology and machine learning, which is why it consistently ranks as the best password manager available. No matter the device or browser you're using, it makes every shopping experience a one-click checkout. And it stores all your passwords so you're never locked out of an account. And provides a VPN for streaming content and secure browsing. To stay in control like me, you can try Dashlane free on your first device by going to dashlane.com slash bdouble. Then if you like the product just as much as I do, use code bdouble for 50% off premium. You know what, let's just start with the corners. Okay, all that brain coral collected. Let's take two stacks and let's get, I've, I've semi-organized some of my life. Uh, <laughs> But uh, it's getting there. Oh, there's some dead brain coral right there as well. I'm starting to get my inventory organized, which is nice. So we got all this brain coral because we're going to make the paths of our kind of big eye shopping district out of brain coral. Now, not a lot of it. The, the amount that we got, that whole farming experience that I just went through was kind of a an indicator for me of how much to place in this. So we're going to do the paths a little bit random. This is the current path. We're going to raise it all up one. So we'll probably, you know what I want to do? I want to put it down like this so we can kind of get a visual idea of what it'll look like. So we'll kind of work in blobs like that, okay? And then we'll put a little blob right here. That's good. Wonderful blobbing. Good blobbing. Very good. And maybe connect them there. That's fine. That's a lot in one spot. Let's kind of go like that. That's cute. 
cool blob shape and boom ba bing and boom the idea is this is going to be a little bit difficult but this is a wonderful block aside from one fact and um the texture artist for Mil mojang japa yapa japa uh i know this has probably been overlooked but if you're watching hi hi good to see you uh because nobody deals with brain coral but there is a little bit of a border problem right here where they connect so let's see right there where they connect it kind of like comes in and does a weird thing so these could connect a little bit better but if we're if we're making it messy like this it should be fine uh so this is it's a really nice block it's kind of like a nice italian stone block and then we mix it with gravel now if we mix it with gravel it's going to be pretty nice. I also want to, aha, here you get a uh, look at how I sort my inventory like Etho. Dark stone. We'll go into the dark stone. We'll get some tough. So we'll put some tough in here as well in kind of blobs. I think that'll be nice. Boom, boom. That's good. And this will make a very nice mixture, I think. So this is what I'm thinking. Did I hear a noise? Maybe I picked up a block. This is what I'm thinking for the paths. What do you guys think? I think this is going to be really nice. It's just a little bit different. On the Hermitcraft server, we kind of have to do that. Because we got to do some things that kind of mix up the game a little bit. And that are a little bit different. And this color, it's just a little different than the normal stone that we see around from time to time. So I think it's nice. I think it'll help the shopping district really stand out as well. But... Why are we raising this all up? Okay, we are raising this whole thing because I want to create a little bit of a beach here and not a sandy beach. That's the big difference. No, most beaches are sand. Aha, in this area, and I got inspired, I watched Luca with my kids, a Pixar movie. Gravel beaches. Oh, yes. Gravel beaches, I think, will be... Uh, a really cool look for us out here. So it'll be, it'll still have kind of that same beachy flow and feel, but it'll be gravel. Uh, so we'll do gravel and we'll mix in some of this tough uh, closer to the water and then some cobblestone slabs. So this is kind of what I'm thinking about right here. Something like this, where it has kind of a smooth flow down into the water. And so I, I was mistaken. Andesite slabs up top because it's a little bit lighter. And then cobblestone slabs down lower. I don't think mossy cobblestone because the, the way these work is water comes in, it comes in, it comes in. And there's so much water running over it in filtration that like moss doesn't really go like crazy. So I think just leaving it like that is pretty good. And then just using the tough is like the darker block. Although... Tough is a little tough to get a hold of. I hate, f I said that. I hate that joke. E erase that. Erase this episode. Oh my goodness. Okay. But anyway, this is the look that we're going for. And I think it's going to look wonderful. I'm really happy with it. So there's kind of our beaches. In some spots, like over here maybe, we'll have just like a retaining wall. So when it gets close to the water, it'll be like a beach, and then some spots it'll be a retaining wall. But this is kind of the idea for the pads. Now, I don't think we're going to fully get all the pads worked out and finished today. Uh, oh, I really need to add more of this stone in here, don't I? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's not stone, it's coral. <laughs> but we're kind of losing the idea. We want the streets to feel like it's this, but just kind of covered and broken up a little bit. We need more. Oh boy. Okay. This little area right here was almost a stack. Yikes. Beat up gonna have to collect some. But anyway, that's the idea. What we need to do now, I built this dirt thing out. We need to build another mountain. That's right. <laughs> it's much smaller than this one. But our peninsula that's coming out here, we're gonna build this and kind of terraform this out a little bit here. So, I make mountain now again. Again. Goodness sakes. Hello, my friend. Hello. Oh. Who? Here? Hi. Where? Hey. Hey, what? Tango. What? what are you doing? Oh. oh, your coral just died right in front of you. How sad. On purpose. 
Oh, oh. Yeah, I wanted it to die on purpose. <clears throat> I see. You just yes. enjoy watching it shrivel up and die? Yeah, right I you. love watching nature go away. No, this is... <laughs> hey. This is nice. This is a nice block. I just uh It is. Yeah, I'm just slowly creating the it. I might version, make a, a, a the dead farm. version is better. Yes, the dead oh, there version is much better. Yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 I got something I want to show you. Oh, you do? Yeah, you got a couple minutes? Yes, I've been her I've All heard right. I've heard you digging. Yes, I well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like nine hours of digging. Yeah. Hey, let's let's come to the mountain. Oh, okay, the so door is closed. The door is closed, and there's no peeking. So Okay. I I've, I've been very busy. Yes. Uh, inside the cave is, is someone I, I want you to meet. Someone? Someone, yeah. He, he goes by the name Fifi. Fifi? Fifi, yeah. Fifi. <laughs> A new member Fifi of the, the server. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fifi the Destroyer. <laughs> oh, uh-oh. Um, yeah. okay, should I set my spawn for this? No, 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 you're good, you're good. Okay. <laughs> Just belly up to the gravel, okay? It will, the curtain will drop. Belly up to the gravel. Okay, okay. All right, okay, I'm belly. Are you ready? Yes. You haven't seen this, have you? No. Is this a prank? Are you going to kill me? No, it's not a prank. <laughs> you okay, did this once before. Okay. All right. <laughs> Three, mm -hmm. two, one. Go. Oh. Oh, what? disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Check him out. It's Fifi oh. the Destroyer. <laughs> oh, so, my goodness. So now we have um, someone living in the cave. <laughs> My plans in here. I got all kinds of plans, okay? And I want to run them by you and so you can get your thoughts. Like, I want to, you know, I want to decorate this whole place, of course, right? The, the digging you, the, is very crude right now. but The whole know. place? Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're going nuts. We're, go we're going to town in here. We're doing it right. Okay. Uh, but more importantly, I want to put, like, a storage room in here, too. Like, a, a big eye storage room. Do you trust Fifi with all of our stuff? I, well, you know, Fifi's going to protect her, right? Who's going to come in here and take it? That's you know, true. Right? <laughs> with, it with Fifi looking, looking like the way he is, right? Un unable to swallow in here yet no yeah. but you know that could change if we decide you know maybe the storage room is inside his mouth who knows oh my goodness that'd be amazing <laughs> who knows? yeah but i was also thinking you know wouldn't it be maybe you know like with all of our diamonds and stuff i could have like a we could have some kind of like sacrificial fifi diamond pit or something where we we offer up all of our diamonds to fifi I mean, what? Be that, there's not a safer place on the server than inside of Fifi. Exactly. I feel like. <laughs> exactly. Right. Who's gonna mess? Yeah. Oh, I like that idea. This is a project and a half, sir. This is the thing. Yeah, it's already been about sixteen or twenty hours between the design, the digging, and everything. But yeah. And you're about one percent of the way done. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I look forward to it. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And then you're thinking storage up here, yeah? Oh, maybe. I don't know. What do you think? Like, it could be under the stairs here. Like I said, I don't want to obstruct the view of Fifi and stuff. I think space is not going to be a problem. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's just going to be a matter of, of location and design. Exactly, exactly. We'll get there. Yeah. I love Alrighty. it. It looks fantastic. Cool, man. Thanks. You're welcome. Old Tango up to his old tricks again, isn't he? Oh, man, he's always got something crazy going on. So now there's a big ogre inside the mountain. Fantastic. Uh, but, hey, I got this little mountain thing done. Uh, it, it's a little baby. A little baby mountain. And I didn't put a whole lot of effort into the aesthetics. It's got kind of a weird vibe to it. You know what? Actually, Lulu, come with me. You're gonna, you you will enjoy this view as well. I don't want to deprive poor sweet Lulu. Uh, but from over here, it looks much nicer. Uh, so you can kind of see, this is the area. So, we're going to put Shopping District in here. And I want to try a kind of new concept. I think I might have messed up those goats. I think they think they can get over there or something. Uh-oh. I got to tell Tango. So... I want it, I think it'd be nice to have buildings up here, buildings here and right here and have this whole kind of cove, maybe take that island out. This whole cove is our shopping district. And then maybe up on the other side of this cliff that comes out here, we could have maybe over here like a little bit of a port, like a dock, docking area for anybody that comes in on boats, you know, or uh, if we're getting supplies from other people on the server and then they could come up here. So that's kind of the idea, but here's the concept. Here's the idea. 
we're going to have, this is the big eye shopping district area that, that we want to set up. Uh, the way I want to kind of lay this out, this is where it gets interesting, is put, I'm going to lay out roads, where the roads will go. And I'm also going to lay out some framework for where buildings could go. And then just fill those spots in. So a building this big could go here. A building this big could go here. A building this big could go here. I could, and if I got a shop, I pick one of the spots and I say, boom, this is the one. And then I fill in that spot at that size. You know what I mean? I can give you a little bit of a better idea. I'm going to lay out this framework, okay? I'm just going to do it in wool. Lots of wool. Have it all laid out so you can kind of see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, I've wrapped that up. I'm all done laying out kind of those plot things. And going to grab some of that. And let's head on over. Come on, Lulu. You can kind of see it off in the distance there just a little bit. Uh, but... Things are coming along. I'm very excited about this. This has got me feeling like this could be a cool concept. Who knows? You know, who knows if this will work out good. Hopefully it's not. I've cut, talked to the guys, to Corrales and Tangle a little bit, and they're down with the idea. So it could be cool. But here we go. It looks strange right now. I'm going to have to move this road over just a little bit. It looks a little strange. I know. Like a, a weird woolen paradise. But, weird. Impulse just slept. <laughs> Impulse just slept. What a guy. What a guy. It just turned day instantly. What a beauty. Uh, it looks like a wonderful woolen paradise. But look at this. So a couple things we're dealing with here. The reason why I wanted to lay this out is because we have to be very careful about the size of these buildings. If we go too big, the mountain's going to look small. And I want those snow caps off of there. Can't do it probably, but, huh? I think this is awesome. So I've just laid it out a little bit. We're kind of going up. See why I didn't pay too much attention to how this cliff looks in here is because it's mainly going to be all covered and probably carved out for shops and stuff like that. But we're already producing so many things. We should really just start selling. We should start selling things. We've got tons of string. We should sell string. This, this could, right here, be the string shop. We got the thing, the farm right below. Boom. Pop it in there. String on demand at all times. Couple diagonal buildings. Gulp. And uh, then, yeah, we'll have kind of going up this peninsula. There will be some shops here that you can enter from this side. And there may be some cool stuff up on the peak of the mountain here. I think it's going to be really, really cool. And it's going to make the big eye guys... Like the, the one-stop shop. Come on in here and you can get anything you need. Speaking of that, uh, there is a semi one-stop shop that I need to address something with. Before we go and handle this situation that we have to handle, let's stop here at Jevin's place. The Slime Shulker. We set up our own hitching post. That should be a law. There should be free hitching posts everywhere. Down, up. Let's go up, okay? Aha, this is what I'm here for. Beacons, 18. Okay, 18 diamonds for one. I need a beacon. I need one for my failed, um, <laughs> for my failed machine where I mine diamonds. Okay, let's just put that there. That's where we took that. Perfect, wonderful. Okay, all right, all right. Perfect shop, perfect exit too. Okay, we got a beacon. Wonderful. Jevin, nice shop. Thank you very much for setting that up. Easiest beacon I've ever obtained. Now, we go take care of some riffraff. So last episode, we came over here to the Swagon, and we said, boy, what a wonderful, wonderful shop this is. And we bought from it and everything. And then I saw Scar's video where he said he wanted to park it near or in front of the passing gas to try to steal business from us. Oh, I saw that. You don't think I saw that, Scar? So, we're going to rough him up a little bit. Let's see. We'll move some repeaters around. We're going to really mess up his shop. Okay, don't touch that one again. Okay. Quartz. Aha! We'll put this over here. It's just good. We're going to make it look like a big mess. Also, 
yeah, let's, you know what? Let's take these. These don't have anything in them. Perfect. Let's take these and let's, let's break this. Yeah. Let's really mess it up. We want them to feel like it got really, the whole thing got bashed up. Last but not least, I'm stealing the tires. Anything interesting in these things? We're stealing the tires. There's three. One, two, three. Okay. Now, I don't want to redo these item frames. Oh, there's buttons on them. Okay. Go like that. Bang. That'll stay. That's perfect. Wonderful. Bang. And boom. Yes. <laughs> don't mess with the big eye passing gas. Okay. We're going to rough you up real bad. Oh, and you know what else I'm going to do? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You free waxing everybody else's stuff. Now you waxed. Now I wax you. <laughs> oh, yes. Wonderful, B-dubs. Good trick. Good trick on him. Don't mess with us. Huh? And let's make close that so it looks like the shop is closed. Wonderful for us. Yes. The passing gas. That should that should make people feel like, I, I should mess with that sign. Could I spell a different word out of that, I wonder? Maybe not. Oh, well. I think we roughed him up good enough. <laughs> Don't tell him. But ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for today's episode. I think we had some great progress. We made some great progress. Uh-oh, world's not loading in. Though this would be a good opportunity to let you know I'm working on something special. Those of you that are members of the Patreon server, there it's coming, slowly but surely. There's a lot of people on right now. It's a busy day on Hermitcraft. Uh, those of you that are members of my Patreon server, uh, something special coming uh, in the next week or so. So keep your eye on that. I'll make sure to make an announcement here when we get that going, but kind of a way that we can uh, do some building together which I think will be fun. But anyway, that's going to do it for me, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.